as effective, right? Alrighty, guys, so let's start this. So I'm hitting start on my timer, and we are going to begin warming up. So sneakers, water, you might want to mat for the core sections, but you can just kind of keep that to the side until you're ready to pick it up. So here we go. So let's start with a nice, easy jog in place. Woo. This is a good time to check in with your body, see how everything's feeling today. Shake things out, take out some of that tension, roll the shoulders. Woo. Keep doing this jog, but we're just gonna jog side to side. Give yourself a little variation so jogging isn't boring. Now, if jogging's a little uncomfortable, march in place. Everything today, the way the Tabatas are gonna work, is each exercise is gonna kind of build on each other. So technically it's like two exercises per set, um, but they all progress. So what you get to do is stick with the exercise that feels best for your body and you don't have to take the progressions, jumping jacks. Then again, if you don't wanna do a whole jumping jack, give me a half jack, yeah. Breathe, gotta get that heart rate up just a little bit. Excellent, just a few more seconds of these. Ooh, great. All right, so I want you to take the feet wide, gentle squat here. And I don't really want a deep squat yet because we're still warming up, but we're focusing on keeping the tailbone long, the center of the ribs pulled in, and we're sitting the butt behind the heels. We should not be able to, we should be able to see our toes. If you're unable to see your toes, that means you're flexing forward too much at the knees, which is a no-no. Good. Three pulses at the bottom. Pulse it three times. Squeeze it to standing. Take it down. Three, two, one. Bring it to stand. Three, two, one. Up. Woo. I know all my pole dancer followers are like, why are we doing this? I'll tell you what, y'all. Cross training is key to being a healthy polar for the long run. All right. Pulling is hard on our bodies. The heart's stress. So you need to give your body a chance to work other muscle groups and let the pull muscles kind of be the complementary muscles a little. Excellent, all right, one more time. Breathe, good. Now we're gonna go into a forward lunge, arm extension, push to float back, alternating sides. Make sure your feet are staying on those railroad tracks so your feet remain about hip shoulder width apart and they don't go really narrow. Good, excellent. Keep these arms long. I want you extending, putting energy through the fingers. Sit straight down in those lunges. No hinges. One more each side. Fantastic. All right, hip circles here. Open them up, alternate side to side. Kind of like to give my arms a purpose so I keep them up here. Ooh, good. All right, two. And one, wide legs, toes forward, side lunge rocks, knee and toe point the same direction, hips go behind you, chin and chest stay lifted. Breathing through. Woo. Good. Now, can you get a little lower in those side lunges without letting the heel of the foot come off the ground? So feet are firm and planted. If you're feeling okay with these, stay low and give me a little pulse side to side. Yeah, keep breathing. Excellent, now hold it wide, turn the toes out, hands to the thighs, create a long spine, press one thigh away, look over the opposite shoulder behind you, lift through the center, other side. Let's do that again. One more time. Good, now we're gonna go into a plank walkout. So keep the feet a little wider than the hips, sit down low in your squat, palms go to the ground, all the way forward, find your plank, and then walk it back. Hands come to thighs, lift the chin and chest. Take it low, walk out, hold the plank, rock it back, and rest. Forward, and back. Last time, we're gonna hold the plank here. Press strong through the fingers, Pull the butt in, lift the tailbone, drive into a down dog pike and rock it forward. Up to pike and forward. Now you can continue here, or if you'd like to, opposite hand, opposite toe, so you have a three-legged pike. Make sure you're pushing 
the shoulder to the ear, pushing the floor into your belly button with that base arm. Really important. Good. One more. And a walk the feet in. Good. Big scoops on the way up. Woo. All right, guys. So we're going to get ready to start our first Tabata set. Four exercises, all coming from a squat. The second Tabata step set is going to come from a run position, okay? So let me give you one second. Not being annoying. Balti. Okay. Woo, five seconds. My dog was got stuck. <laughs> so we're going to start with just this squat in three, two, one. Here we go. Now this is a 20-second Tabata round, so that means we're going high intensity here, okay? It's a short period of work. <sighs> Squeeze the butt all the way up. Keep breathing through. Nice and simple. Nothing complicated yet, right? Woo! Three, two, and one. Rest. 10 second breather. Next exercise. You're gonna start wide, step out, even wider, bring it in, step to the other side, step out squat. Here we go. So down, up. Good. Make sure that when we step out, toes and knees are going forward and that you're not leaning into that leg, right? Everything stays squared, even distribution of the weight. Excellent. And hold. Now you can stay there. If you're ready to progress, squat jack, high in the center, low to the side. Yeah? Ready? Here we go. Round three. I know Tabata's move quick. It's kind of the beauty of it because then they're over before you know it. Woo! Coach Bolt is here. Hey, buddy. Whew. He gives me all the encouragement. He's telling me that you guys are doing great. He can sense it. Woo! Rest. All right, final one is called your surfer jack. High in the center, wide at a low angle, and then you switch. Ready? Here we go. And again, if any of these get to be too much for you, you know where to go. You can go down to regular squat jack. You can go down to the step out squat. Woo, or you can go to your regular squat. Woo, whose legs are burning. Yes. And rest, good. All right, we're gonna start the next round. Jogging in place, this is a quick jog. You can also do strong march in place. Ready, here we go. Breathe. So this is part two of our Tabata set. Picking up the feet, inhale through the nose, exhale to the belly. Good, we have 10 seconds left. Let's pick up the pace. Breathe, find your focus, keep the core engaged. Rest, all right. Now, agility feet are next. Two feet in, two feet out. In, in, out, out. Ready? Here we go. If this is a little too confusing, Go a little slower, we'll go back to the jog. Now we're gonna start the other leg moving first because we're halfway. Woo! Stay focused in this, give your arms a purpose. Rest, fantastic. High knees or high knee march, either is fine. Three, two, one. Now when we do our high knees, you're gonna have a slight recline. You're keeping the core long, but this is going to allow those low abs to bring the knees up higher. Woo! That's it, guys. Five seconds. Excellent. Final move, Heisman. One, two, three, stick it low. Two, three, stick it low. Let it fast. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Take it back down to high knees. If this is a new movement for you and you're not sure, good. You can go back to the agility feet. You can just go back to your jog. I want you to keep moving. Don't quit on me yet. Woo, excellent. All right, guys, core time. We're gonna have one minute of bear to plank. So, hands under shoulders, fingers pointed forward, long spine, Long tailbone, float the knees off the ground, hips and shoulders in line. Step the legs out, find your plank, and then step the knees in, find your bear. 
We're gonna take our time with this. I want you to hold each position for like one breath, maybe two, before you go to the next. Now, modifying is totally cool, All right? Bear modified, kneeling plank modified, all right? You can go down to your forearms and just hold your plank. If you just need a big breather, wherever you're at, remember not to push back. Butts aren't in the air. Keep pulling forward over those fingers. Keep scooping the belt, butt under, pulling the shoulder blades back. Good, and lifting the belly button. Look, we only have eight seconds left. That was no problem at all. And rest. Awesome work, you guys. You made it through round one. No big deal. So we're gonna have our next round coming, but we're gonna have a nice minute, minute and a half rest here. So I'm gonna go ahead and move my mat out of the way. I'm gonna sip my water, wash your face off, do what you gotta do here. Woo. How are we feeling so far? <clears throat> so let's talk about the next Tabata set. Set one is gonna live from your lunge. Set two is gonna live from your plank. Ah, all right. So we're gonna start with an alternating lunge, or you could go reverse lunge. That's fine too. You switch legs both times. I'm gonna do a reverse lunge, because I did lots of four lunges the other day. Um, and that's gonna be it. Yeah, it's gonna grow. Two exercises, lots of variations, something for everybody. Give me one last deep inhale. Give me an exhale, and we're gonna start reverse lunge in three, two, one, here we go. So strong lunge, staying on those railroad tracks, keeping the chin and chest lifted, and the tailbone long. We wanna avoid stuff like this, okay? That's not a lunge, you're not doing anything. Stick it straight down, lift and lower. Excellent, rest. All right, that wasn't bad. Two pulses at the end of your lunge. Pulse, pulse, up, pulse, pulse, up. Ready? Here we go. Pulse it, switch, pulse it, switch. See how low you can go. Keep driving the back hip forward and keep that torso up. Nice and long, breathe. Woo, we got it. I want those legs burning today. Lots of lower body, rest. All right, progression. Lunge, two times, squat, two times, switch. This is a narrow squat, ready? Here we go, lunge, pulse, center, pulse, lunge, pulse, center, pulse. Keep some speed with this, but not so much speed that you lose your form and technique. You gotta protect the low back, gotta protect your joints. Woo, almost there. And rest, woo, all right, if you want to, single, pulse, lunge, chair, Lunge, ready? Here we go. Nice soft landing each time. Even though this is a plyo, it doesn't have to be super high impact. I don't wanna hear your feet, yes? If that's too much, slow it down and just give me a non-plyo option. Fine too, rest. All right guys, plank, walk out. This is gonna be quick, faster than we did in the warm up. Ready? Here we go. So you walk it out to the plank, walk it back to that low squat. Pull the ribs in in that squat. Lift the chin and chest slightly. Always end looking forward. Good. Palms are flat. Hands shoulder width apart. Rest. Nice work. Now we're going to hold the plank. If the holding the plank's too hard, no big deal. And we're going to add a knee drive here. Ready? Here we go. Knee drive, knee drive, pull, pull. Keep driving forward with the feet. Keep the hips low. Modification, drop a knee. That's fine, okay? Excellent. So I also call those baby mountain climbers. <clears throat> so you can guess where we're going next. Mountain climbers, if you're ready, running, in place, here we go, good, 
Keep your gaze slightly in front of your fingers. Keep holding the shoulders back. This is not a mountain climber. Get those butts out of the air. Woo! I know you're strong. You got this. Keep breathing through. Keep it moving. Three, two, and one. Rest. Woo! All right, final guy. Runner lunge switch outs. You're here. You can step, switch, or plyo. Here we go. I'm gonna do the plyo option. And I might alternate down to the step option. And then I'll go back to the plyo option. Listen to your body, however it feels today. And good work, guys. Core round, one minute. Look at that. You're already more than halfway through your workout. Yes. All right, supine bird dog. So dead bug position. B flex, knees over hips, lower abs pulled in. Hands over head. You're gonna reach the left arm or left leg, right arm, bring it in. And then other side and hold. So this is kind of like a prep for a hollow body. For those of you that know hollow body, but we're gonna kind of work that cross body engagement, that anti-rotational kind of core exercise. So good for us. Now make sure you're breathing. Center of the ribs pulled down. Try not to let them float open. We want that spine long. Back of the ribs heavy into the ground. No arch in that low back, especially when the leg lowers. Don't let it happen. Modify toe taps if you need to, but y'all got this. We got like five seconds. Whew. Nice work. All right. So go ahead, check in with your body, and we're going to get ready for our final round. I told you this one is quick and dirty today. Some days, you know, we just don't feel like a million bucks. So I don't know what that person's saying. Woo, and you just gotta work where you're at. Okay, so next move we're gonna start with, it's gonna come from a side hop over. So envision that there's like a little wall or a little fence right here, all right? We're gonna load down to begin, push off the outside leg, hop over, soft landing, and you always land low. We don't want that, yes? And then our second set's gonna come from a broad jump. That's that big hop forward, like you're trying to jump over a creek. All right, and this is kind of a leapy round. I got those low impact starting, and then I got your high impact options if you wanna take it up. All right, guys, y'all ready? Let's do this, three, two, side to side hop, here we go. Side, get low, get low, soft landing. Envision that you're like me and you're trying not to wake up your napping toddler. So you can still do this powerful movement, but control the landing so it's quiet. Rest, good job. All right, progression, side hop, calf raise. Side hop, calf raise, yes. Here we go, land low, calf raise low. Land low, calf raise lock and load. Always start and end in that chair squat position. Breathe, inhale and exhale. Get off those feet or off the heels. Rest. All right, now hop over, up from the calf raise, make it a plyo hop. Here we go. Down, leave the floor. And again, you have your first two options. If you don't wanna do that, plyo. Calf raise is a great substitute for a plyo. It's a strong, effective move, but it doesn't have all the impact. Rest. We're gonna finish. Ski moguls. Make a V as you land, up, over, low squat. These burn guys, here we go. Come on, soft landing. Go back to your side hop overs. If you don't wanna combine those three movements we've already done, 
That was all build up to this ski mogul. Good, almost there. Nice work. All right, broad jump. Now, I'm gonna give you the low impact option first. It's a big step, big squat. Here we go. Here, squat, bring it back, forward, squat, or plyo, two feet, land it soft, power, soft landing. Yes, hey, one more. Good work, okay. Now, instead of jogging back, you're gonna do jumping jacks to reset. Ready, low impact, here. Jack two, three, or here, half jack. That's fine. I want you to challenge yourself, but again, listen to your body. If it needs you to take it down a notch, respect that. Nice work. All right, final progression. Burpee, jump forward, burpee down, bring it back. And you can just do that plank burpee. Jog or jack back. I don't care which one. Or take one of the first three options we've already done. You don't have to burpee if you're not ready for that. Nice work. Okay, we're gonna finish with a side plank crunch. Now you can do this from a kneeling position. We're here, top arm behind the ear, pull in, elbow to knee, without letting the butt drop. Here, here. It's almost like you're trying to smack something in between your elbow and your knee. Excellent, turn it over. Woo, breathe. I missed our last round there, guys, sorry. I know you hate me. Here we go, other side. Crunch it in. Keep the hips up. Live TV. You yeah, know, instructors lose oxygen to their brain too, and we forget things. A few more. Switch sides. We're gonna switch a couple times. Don't worry. Pull it in. Keep the hips up. Keep pushing the hips forward. Good, switch sides. Let me give you 15 second rounds on each side. Breathe. Switch. Good, switch. We're gonna finish off right here. Here we go. 10 seconds, trying to keep you guys even. Yes, good work, my friends. Woo, awesome job. Hopefully you're breathing a little hard. You're a little bit sweaty, got that heart rate up. I want you to slowly come to a half standing squat position. Take a few deep breaths here. Bring the hands to the thighs, inhale. Exhale, breathe through the belly bunch. Soften the knees, round the spine, drop the chin, roll it to standing. March it out for me. Good work. We're gonna bring ourselves down, cool it off just a little. Inhale all the way up. Big exhale, belly breathe. Push out through the mouth, inhale. Exhale. Again, up. One more. Good. Now take the toes wide, feet wide. I want you to inhale, lift the chest, extend the front of your body. So we're not duck butting, big open, and then soften the knees, big round. Inhale, exhale, squeeze that butt. Inhale, exhale, and back one more time. Fantastic. Feet a little wider than the hips. Take one arm up, reach it tall, lengthen this side of your body. Tuck the butt in, push your hips and ribs away, and then find a side bend. You can take your other hand right on your hip to help stabilize if needed. Look up to the ceiling, give me a big arm circle. 
one backwards, and one forwards. Now take that hand, place it in front of the opposite foot. If you cannot reach your foot, go for the shins. I want legs long. Now look over the back shoulder, extend that arm up. If you need a bigger stretch, you can walk your hand past your toe and begin to rotate the torso open as long as you're keeping the spine long. Good. Now shoot that arm between your front arm and leg. And I want you to look under the front armpit towards the ceiling. And it's okay if you can only be right here. No big deal. Good. Bring it to center. Soften the knees. And slowly roll to standing. Inhale up. Grow tall. Opposite hand comes down. Push the hips and ribs away. Inhale, exhale, breathe. Ooh. Good. You should be breathing a little bit easier. Look up to the ceiling. One arm circle backwards. Good. And one arm circle forwards. Fantastic. Now take this hand in front of that far side toe. Look over your back shoulder to the ceiling. Extend that arm up. And again, if this hand won't reach the floor, bring it to your shin. We need legs to stay long here. If you want to, reach past your foot and you can open a little bit deeper thoracic rotation here. Now take that floating arm, reach it through, look for the other leg or point to the other leg and look under the armpit in front. Good. All right, so bring both hands to the ground, pivot your toes, and I want you to settle into a high lunge. So that back leg is long and straight, you're pressing the heel behind you. Front arm, that's my left arm, is pushing up and away. I'm going to roll to the outside of the front foot, that's my right foot, and I'm gonna allow that knee, I don't know if you guys can see, to kind of drop open. And then you can rotate slightly away from it. Ooh. Good, now drop the back leg, sit your hips over the back knee, extend the front leg so it's straight. So you might have to take it in front. Now pull the front hip back, back hip forward, lengthen up if you need to, and then hinge up and over, like you wanna put your chin on your big toe. You need to get a stretch through the hamstring, the back of the front leg. Yep, good. Now shift the weight slightly forward, and we're gonna rotate to the other side. Side lunge or forward lunge. Bring your front hand down and then you can roll to the outside of that front foot if you want to or just let the weight of the knee fall backwards. And then if you wanna make it a little deeper, you kind of rotate your gaze away like you're looking over the open shoulder towards the back leg. Wherever you're at, drop the back leg to the ground. Shift your weight up and over, finding that hamstring stretch. Flex the front foot, keep that front leg long. Pull the front hip back, back hip forward to square the hips and lift up and over, finding that hamstring stretch. Great, bring your legs together. Now you can sit on your knees or sit down into a butterfly position. Interlace the fingers behind you. Lengthen the knuckles to the ground and lift the pinkies to open the front of the chest. Now take that sternum, pull it in and down so your spine stays long. We're not here. If you're unable to reach your hands, you can grab like a yoga block or a pillow or just pretend like you're squeezing a ball between your palms. Interlace the fingers in front, press the palms away. Now we're gonna open the shoulder blades, sucking the center of the belly in. Good. From here, tip to one side. I should take that stretch down the lats, maybe into the QLs a little bit. And lift through the center. Tip everything to the other side. And bring it to center. Hands to the ground. Again, we're going to slowly come up to standing. One vertebrae at a time, tucking the pelvis. Big inhale when you get up. Big exhale. Y'all did it. Thank you for tuning in with me today. I hope you guys got a little bit of a sweat on. Um, hit me up in my DMs if you have any questions. Um, this class will be archived on my YouTube channel and on my Instagram TV. I'm at Pole Fit Fox on both. This was day nine. 
woo, of my 14 days of daily free mini classes. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying them. If you missed any of the others, go to my Instagram archives and the Instagram TV or my YouTube channel and you'll find a playlist for both of those sections there. Um, and yeah, tune in tomorrow, Technique Tuesday, Trick Tuesday. If you're a pole dancer aerialist, we're gonna do some fun things. Bye guys, thanks for tuning in.